to my channel, I'm Tay from my channel called Auntie Tay. If you guys are new here, I put up new tutorials usually every Monday, Wednesday, Friday if nothing in my life gets in the way. And if you guys don't know what a Cricut is, today is a Monday and I put up Cricut tutorials every Monday. And there is a link down below with some other tutorials on how to use it, what it is, all that good stuff. So check out all the links if you don't know what it is or you don't have one or you're interested in having one. There are some coupon code links down there as well. The nice thing about clicking through my links every time you go to buy some Cricut products is I always have the latest coupons on my blog, which you cannot use coupons in the store. So today I am showing you guys how to etch glass with Cricut stencil vinyl. And I really just did some super simple projects with this because it was my first time ever using the etching stuff, which I'm still not perfect at but the Cricut stencil worked out great so if you just want to know how to use the Cricut stencil vinyl this is a cool tutorial for that too. The etching stuff still like I said I'm trying to get to know it. Let me show you one of the projects I'm making. So I'm making this big wine glass and I wanted to do the Giants logo on one side and the nickname of the lady that I am making this for on the other side. Um, I had a really hard time getting the etch stuff to be even and I went over it like three or four different times and it's still not very even. So I did it again on these little jars just to kind of like see if maybe I could do it a little differently. I put it on a little bit thicker and left it on a little bit longer than the bottle said to and it worked out pretty good. My button one came out pretty good. Um, the lips one came out a little iffy. So I'm just gonna show you guys how to do it but I'm not sure if it's this stuff that was the problem. I used Armor Etch Sorry my dog's being really loud, if that's what you hear in the background. Um, but this is what I got, and this is all that Joann's had, so I figured that this was probably the best stuff to use. But if you guys know a better product to use to etch glass, put it in the comments down below so we can know, and so anyone who's working on this project can do this the best that they can. Other than that, the Cricut, Stenc the Cricut stencil vinyl is super fun to use. So this is a project on this is just an idea you can use it for. So let's get going. Alrighty, so you're gonna find something glass that you want to etch and then we're gonna use our stencil vinyl by Cricut that you can get online using our link and then the armor etch that I talked about in the beginning so we're going to just use our Cricut machine to cut out any design that you want to and put it on custom and find vinyl stencil and it's 0.2 millimeters and then we're gonna cut it out if you guys want to know more specifically how to use the machine you can check out all the links below and I will put links to different videos I've done actually teaching you how to do this the the difference between the stencil and the other um, vinyl that you leave on your glass is you cut out the negative part of it. So we're going to clean our glass off with alcohol and then we're going to use some transfer tape to pick up our design. So you'll see that the negative part of our stencil is pulled off and the rest of it is left. That will cause it to be a stencil and so that when you put the etching cream on you are going to be etching into the glass all of the negative parts of the design so that when you pull off the um, the transfer tape or I guess it's the stencil vinyl when you pull that off the what's left over will be your design so we're gonna put this on just like we would vinyl and you're gonna make sure it's all pushed down so that the etching cream doesn't get underneath the stencil and then I would advise wearing gloves because this stuff is pretty potent and can really do some damage to your skin so then just brush it on very thick I didn't do it super thick and I did some layer some parts of it a little bit thicker than the others and I think that's why it came out a little blotchy but um, it turned out okay for my first project I guess and then you're supposed to leave it on for a minute but I did it over again and I left these on for like 10 minutes and put them on much thicker and when I washed them off they turned out a lot better so you're just gonna wash off your etching cream and then pull off your um, stencil vinyl and then you can let it dry and it'll be good to go once you're all done and it's dry 